Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella. And in today's video, I'm going to take you guys along with me to Main Street Antiques in Mooresville, North Carolina. It is a smaller antique mall than The Depot is. The Depot is truly a destination spot. If you live within, I would say, an hour or less, it is sometimes worth it to check out Main Street Antiques. I did, however, notice on this trip that there were a number of booths that have recently closed and are empty, so I'm hoping that those get filled up soon with some really great vendors, but let's head out to Main Street Antiques and see what they have available. I really love going antique shopping, even if I don't have a specific item in mind that I'm looking to find. It's a really fun way of getting some inspiration and just seeing some more unique pieces than you would see at big box retailers and it really helps you curate a really beautiful look in your home. Dried gourds are a really great organic way of styling for fall. You can have them as is on their own or you can always get some smaller ones and put them in a bowl. This booth is one of my favorites to look at when I visit this antique store. They always have really great vases and vessels and stone bowls. I will say they do tend to be on the pricier side of things. But again, it's a great way to get some inspiration and maybe spark a DIY idea. When decorating our home, I really love to combine both old and new items. I think it provides a lot of balance, gives a really beautiful curated look. I loved this handled jug. It was a little bit pricier than I was wanting to spend and I want something shorter, but I still think this was a very fair price and it was in great condition. I always make a point if I see a lot of brass in a booth to stop at it. Even if the booth doesn't seem to be my style, you never know what you're gonna find in it. I came across this beautiful scalloped brass bowl it's a little smaller, so it's the perfect tabletop, dainty little addition to add to a space. I really loved this stag head candle holder. I have the gold one from Target last year, so that's why I did not grab this one, but I really, really love the look and the shape of this one, so if I can't stop thinking about it, I might have to make a trip back. Another tip when antique shopping is if you see two similar items to each other, like these brass apples, check the prices of both of them. These were in the same booth and one of them was $19 and the other was $12. So that way you can still shop smart even at antique stores. And the last amazing thing I saw was this incredible driftwood horse. Okay, so now we are back, friends. There were quite a few booths that have recently closed down. There was that one that had such a beautiful selection of those older jugs and such. They were always overpriced, though. I will say that but they actually closed. So that was interesting to see. 
There were a lot of like filler ones with lots of rugs, which I found a little bit random, but I did end up picking up two things. One of them I shared in my last video, and it is this absolutely beautiful cream colored jug. I styled this on our side table in our living room for my fall redecorating video. I popped in this beautiful burgundy eucalyptus leaf stem just to help pull in the arrangement that I have on the coffee table but I have been looking for a jug specifically this color and height for quite some time now because I wanted to have options that I could put it on a side table put it on a kitchen counter and it would still be short enough for me to put a shorter stem in it I can use it on my coffee table and eventually I can put it on built-ins but everything I was coming across was $35 plus dollars. I found this one for 18. So I thought that was such a great price. It is a little distressed. You'll see some little chippy moments as is with everything, but I really love in my home to combine both old and new. It creates a more curated look and makes things look more purposeful. And that way too, it doesn't look like you're walking through a, brioche, a brochure of one specific store when someone visits your home. And I just love mixing in these found elements. I think they're so pretty. I was so excited to come across this finally. There was that one I shared in the video um, that was really beautiful. That one was priced at 40, which was actually quite reasonable. Um, for the size, it was a little bit bigger than this one, but again, I was looking for something a little more low profile. And the last item I picked up today was this beautiful scalloped little bowl. I thought this was so fun. It does have an engraving detail in it. This was $14.50, which for a brass bowl, I thought was very fair. The scalloped detailing is so on trend right now, but with it being brass and with simple style lines, it is a timeless piece, even being on trend. And so I thought a really fun way to style this, you could obviously put it on an entryway table as like a catch-all for your keys and such. You can put it on a nightstand for your rings. I've also played around with it and styled it on my side table and put in some of those pumpkin pods and mini pine cones from Hobby Lobby that I thought were so, so cute. So there's so many options with these types of pieces. They're so easily versatile and you can use them all year round. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I know it was short and sweet. We are actually this weekend celebrating our son's 10th birthday. So we are so incredibly excited to be celebrating that. It's so crazy. I feel like yesterday he was so tiny and now... I give it maybe a year or two and he's gonna be taller than me. <laughs> so it's just crazy how much time flies, but I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more of this from me in the future. I will be doing just a couple more fall redecorate with me videos, not too much. And then I will be doing an updated fall home tour as well. So you can see collectively how everything has come together, just making the little changes in each of these spaces. As always, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.